Right. And then. So just start then. OK, thanks. All right, um, good morning and welcome to this meeting of the Stranar Common Good Subcommittee. Um, I'd like to let you know at this point that this subcommittee meeting will be live streamed and recorded on Teams and that this recording will be available online shortly after the finish of the meeting. Could I remind members to follow the good practice guidance, which includes muting microphones and switching off their video when you're not addressing the meeting? Should you wish to contribute to any item, you should write speak in the Teams chat function and you will be invited to speak in order about new issues. Should your question or issue be raised by a previous speaker, please withdraw your request so that we can deal with the business as efficiently as possible. The usual standing orders apply, including that any votes will be undertaken by roll call. It should be noted that um, the community council representatives on the subcommittee are only in an advisory capacity and they don't have any voting rights, but they're not here right now anyway. So moving on, if any member has to leave the meeting for any reason, can I remind you to either leave the team's meeting for that period of time or could you write leave in the team's chat function and then join? This will allow us to monitor your presence. Uh, item one is the sederant and apologies. Harry, can you provide the sederant, please? So we have present uh, and online are Councillor Scobie, Councillor Justy and Councillor Dashford. And um, we've had no apologies. I will probably just check because I was told that the community rep was attending. I'm a bit worried that they may have been invited to attend uh, at the, the previous time. So I will, I will yeah. check that. Okay. Uh, Councillor Scobie. Could you just clarify that we uh, we are on Teams just now, but is there a reason why we are not doing a hybrid uh, and able to meet in person uh, for this? As it is, uh, as you have said, Chair, this is live stream. I'm not sure if it is live stream, but that can be clarified. But why we are meeting this way and not uh, in the hybrid system? From my understanding, it is because Nestdale Area Committee is being live streamed and being recorded, so therefore we are unable to record another in-person meeting. It was my understanding. We get that check with governance uh, and uh, an explanation given. Also, uh, could I ask why we are not doing a hybrid uh, as this is a, a, a subcommittee? Thank you. Um, I What's the answer to that? Sorry, I didn't get an answer to that. Kerry? Uh, yeah, we'll take a note of that for the minute and we will get a response from uh, governance on that. Thank you. Thank you. Do any members have any declarations of interest to make? Nope. And minutes of the previous meet, meeting, the 2nd November 2022. Happy to approve. Second. Thank you. Item four, Stranar Common Good Fund applications for financial assistance report by head of community service. This report invites members to consider five applications for funding from the Stranar Octular and Bellman Community Council, Stranar Millennium Centre, Stranar Development Trust, Stranar Music Town and Stranar Events Group. Do you have any comments to make? Kerry's here to answer your questions. No? Yeah. Councillor Scobie. Yeah, I, I think Chair, first to, to, to thank Kerry for responding to my email and the information. Uh, has been helpful in terms of looking at these applications and I think in future that, that we need greater narrative uh, around the, the application. I don't disagree uh, with some of the comments being made by the SCORN panel. Be, uh, enter, uh, good to know who, who the actual SCORN panel are, uh, if that is possible. I'm sure it is uh, in terms of two things. One, that uh, as a common good, I would hope that we can try and move to some way of all the groups working together and producing uh, a programme uh, throughout the whole of the period of December right up to Christmas. 
with every weekend filled as much as possible, recognising the capacity within the, the, the groups that have applied. And the other one is the, the, the value for money. So in some of the applications, I would hope that when we are given out funding, grant, if that is the intention of the Common Good uh, subcommittee, that uh, can we ask, uh, or can I ask, are these free events on the back of the, the, the monies being distributed by the Common Good? I take it these are free events. Some of them mentioned free, but not uh, uh, everything being free on the monies that's being provided by the Common Good. Is there an answer to that? Harry, are you able to assist with that? From from the content of the applications, the 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 events or the request for funding from the Common Good is providing uh, activities free of charge to the communities of Stranraer. They may be some of the groups that are delivering may be charging activities that have come came from different sources uh, to cover costs etc. But the Common Good, uh, they are aware that the activities are free. Right and. Uh, are you able Could to identify to... what? Sorry, if... yeah. Sorry, um, on the scoring panel question about the makeup of the scoring panel exactly. Then the scoring panel consists of the members of the Wigdenshire Locality Hub that have a Dumfries and Galloway Third Sector representative on it. It has an Economic Development Place Officer. It has a, a Community Development South of Scotland Enterprise Officer, and it has a Ward Officer from or another ward as well as a ward assistant and a community development officer from NHS Dumfries and Galloway. Okay. So right. that's quite... Could, could we identify uh, as we go through the projects, the applications then, which events are free so that we're, we are clear which ones uh, are, are going to be free? Yep, that can be done at the uh, as each application comes forward. Yeah. Does anyone else have any comments? All right, we move to the recommendations then. 2.1, note that the estimated free income available for the Stranor Common Good is estimated at 21,219 as detailed in paragraph 3.8, 2.2. Note that within the free income available, the amount available to award from the Henry MacDonald Fund is estimated at £800, as detailed at paragraph 3.8. 2.3, note the agreed current criteria for funding, as detailed in Appendix 1. And 2.4, consider the application for financial assistance, Appendix 2, and note the recommendation from the scoring panel. Happy to agree? You're awfully quiet. I'll take that as a yes. Willie? Oh, Chair, we were going through the applications to see, identify which ones and what, whether we're agreeing to the applications. So do you want me to go through each one at the moment then? The first yeah, one. Um, yeah. If, 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 so the first application yeah. that we have there is an application from Stranraer Community Council. And that is for a an enhancement Princess Victoria 70th uh, anniversary, uh, the commemorations. So the Community Council are working with in partnership with uh, the Royal and Tilluvian Order of the Buffaloes, the Royal British Legion, King's Own Scottish Borderers, Stranraer Development Trust, Stranraer Millennium Centre and Stranraer Millennium Centre Youth, as well as some of the families of uh, the, the people that were involved in the tragedy and that they are requesting some funding to add an enhancement to the, the service that is carried out every year and that will include a project to engage local schools with a writing competition and prize given. Uh, it will also include an exhibition to be held in the Millenn Millennium Centre because the Normal Museum will be shut at the time and uh, an opening event, the, the event will be free to the public uh, an exhibition will be free to the public and will be for at least two weeks uh, available for the community. It also includes some uh, capturing of uh, recordings and history around the event with stories and uh, an exhibition of memorabilia. 
and they've also linked up with the Patrick Lightbo and uh, they'll also be speaking at the event as well as local museums and uh, some uh, local people that have uh, stories to share on that tragic event. Move agreement. So their request is, sorry. Move agreement on that one. Greet the funding. OK. Uh, any other comments? For, any questions for me? No. Nope. We're going to the next one, Kerry. OK. Sorry, I can't see any of you, so it's... Uh, if you just give me a shout. <laughs> <laughs> so the next application is from Stranor Millennium Centre and Stranor Development Trust who are working with the Stranraer Community Council on the, the Christmas event activity programme. They are looking to add additional additionality to the Christmas programme and the request is for support with insurance, uh, Christmas rides and uh, the decoration for their Christmas grotto. Now, I've been told that all those activities will be free. Uh, what they are going to do is for people who can afford, uh, there will be a donations bucket out and about during the during the Christmas activities uh, and people who can afford to make a donation are more than happy to do that. And they hope that that will help provide costs for next year's event and support uh, rather than coming to, to kind of get uh, additional funding. They hope that some of the donations will contribute to that you know, the cost for next year. Harry, can I just ask, it says in the guidelines, no more than 75% of the total project costs will be paid. Um, I'm assuming that's just guidelines because there's a few which are over 75. Yes, that is the guidelines for common good. However, as members, you have your discretion to fund as you see fit, but that is the criteria and that's the guidelines. Uh, Members have in the past contributed full awards, 50% awards, and it really is up to members to decide what they feel is appropriate to, to co uh, contribute. Right, thank you, that's useful. And the next one? Just on that one, uh, on the Millennium one, uh, and as you point out, Chair, it's at 88% and it's our discretion, but uh, you did say the rides would be free, Kerry, uh, that, through from, you, Chair. From my understanding, the rides will be free. That's what they've said. Right. If we could clarify that. And the other one is uh, a Christmas grotto. Do you know if the gifts are free uh, handed out to children? Yes, uh, there will be gifts handed out to every ch children. I think it may be selection boxes, Councillor Scobie. Uh, yeah. There will be gifts. Uh, last year they had uh, linked up with a, a toy shop in the town and people that could that were willing to pay for gifts were able to enhance that. But th from my understanding, they're not doing that this year. It is that they will be giving every kid a gift uh, for free, which will be a selection pack. Thank you. Thank you. And the next one. Happy to move that one, Chair, on, on the 88%. Thank you, Scobie. Kerry? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Uh, happy to approve that one. So on to the next one. And is it happy to approve? So Councillor Scobie had said he was happy to approve it at 88%. Is that a, an agreement from all members? Sorry, I didn't catch it. I think so, yeah. Thank you. OK. And the next application is from Stranraer Events Group. Uh, Stranraer Events Group will be a host of the 10th and 11th of December in the Castle Square, a uh, weekend of free activities, including food and craft markets, where local traders can take a market stall to showcase their goods and encourage people to shop local. There'll be a free Santa Grotto and there will be face painting, glitter tattoos, music and inflatables. And the cost uh, request is £1,600 at 44%. The, the specifics of that is insurance, uh, inflatables 
and select the, the grotto and selection packs also. Brilliant, thank you. I'm happy to approve that one. Any seconders? Again, Chair, just on that one, uh, that we've got an assurance, have we, that all the activities will be free? They have, sta they have stated that in their application. That's the bouncy castles and uh, all the other activities. It's Yeah, they've stated that in their application. Thank you. Happy to approve? Approved. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And the next application is Sonora Music Town, and this is a request to support Sonora Hogmanay Hooli at Home Two. Uh, the Hogmanay Hooli has been running for ten years, and is an established event in Sonora's calendar. It's fully inclusive, accessible event which promotes community spirit and brings people together. Having to had to cancel previous. Uh, Due to COVID, they are keen to ensure that this event goes ahead no matter what and have opted to return to a pre-recorded -record, online interactive uh, event. Uh, the event will be accessible to more people, including those who are still vulnerable and not able to attend in person. And it will also uh, support 27 local artists and technicians who are still suffering from restrictions. Uh, and uh, although it will benefit directly 27 people due to paying for local people to perform and set it up, it will benefit uh, thousands due to the reach that online the online event has. So they're requesting £3,000, which is a percentage, it's a funding request of 90% of the amount that they need. Thank you. And will this one be free as well then? Or It's a free online free event, again. yes. Okay. Thank you. Any comments? What did you mean, Kerry, there about a, a free online? Oh, sorry, that it'll be live streamed. Yeah, so it's a it's it's pre some of the so it's a, a kind of dual program uh, as they did it last year. So there was some live interaction, but some of the local music and bands were recorded. So it's a, a kind of mix of both. So it's interactive in that there's engagement with people at the time, but that uh, that some of the music and events are pre-recorded. If that makes Just sense. Clarity, chair. So it'll no be. Uh, I know that's was the way that it was operated during lockdown and the COVID period. Before that, on the ten years that you referred to, then it was a, a gathering of people at the the, the cross as is normal uh, in past years. Uh, yes. Is that, will that be live entertainment at the the, the Castle Green? Uh, this what they are requesting money for is for a pre-recorded for the pre-recording online. I'm not aware if they're also doing parts of that live uh, at the time, uh, but it seems it seems that they're applying for funding to do a pre-recorded event. Uh, I, but I'm unsure if that's in addition to a live hooli that they've maybe applied for funding elsewhere. Uh, I'm not aware of that, but the request to Sonora Common Good is for the pre-recorded online uh, part of the hooli. I'm happy to go with the, 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 the 3,000 and the 90% on our discretion, but we could, could we get clarity on that one, uh, on the approval, that uh, whether indeed it will be live entertainment on uh, Hogmanay uh, at the Castle Green. Yeah, uh, I, I can find out if there, if there will be, but this application is specifically for the pre-recorded part of it. Uh, so I will, I will clarify that. Thank you. Happy to approve. Okay. And the final application is from Stonor Development Trust and this application is slightly unusual as in it's looking to uh, support two other kind of groups of people within Stonor to, to bring forward their uh, to, 
to create a pump track and allotments and community garden space in King George V Park. The application uh, is to support the cost of legal fees that uh, that will be incurred to release the part of the King George V Park that they require from Fields and Trust. Uh, it will also cover planning permission and to fund a part time post to develop uh, and build the capacity of both the pump track and Stonara Lotman Group to take these forward to the next phase of uh, delivery. So the application request is £6,433.98 and they have requested the, the full percentage of that. Uh, the pump track people are not a group, constituted group, and the Stonara Allotment Group are, are kind of refiguring their group. There is a lead uh, for that who is supportive of the application and is keen for support to help this develop. That's Ms Kirby. In total support of this, Kerry knows how long we've waited for this project to come to some fruition, particularly the allotment project. Uh, I'm in total support. Likewise for the pump track, uh, and I think that would add value to what is common good land at King George V uh, Plainfield. Uh, that would would add value there, uh, and such as it's going to take the the hundred percent of the grant to to move this forward. I would hope the common good would support this uh, and look for the development in in early course. Uh, for noting uh, members, you may be aware from the the last uh, finance report that you received, uh, the common good did is uh, going to receive twelve thousand pounds roughly uh, from a deed of servitude uh, from the Wheatley Group uh, for the installation of a pipe. Now, at a meeting prior to the new council, the previous common good committee agreed to ring fence that amount of money for particular projects in King George V Park. Because of the, the legal process, that money's not actually within our accounts as yet. Uh, that's still kind of ongoing. However, when it does come into the account, there will be that amount ring fence. So it may be that you want to take this applicant this award out of that specific ring fenced budget, but you do have enough in your common good free income at the moment to fund it uh, from from your free income. I would hope we we, we uh, retain that in uh, as ring fenced okay. to, to see how we need to develop the projects that are coming forward. Uh, but that from the common good, we allocate this uh, to allow the development to, to take place. I would hope Andrew would support that if Andrew is there. I'm happy to agree with that one, Wally. Um, I think that's a good idea. I retain our other funds for future projects to improve the King George Park. Absolutely. And as I say, adds value to, to that uh, park that is owned by the common good uh, and would provide uh, amenity for the, the, the kids of that area. Thank you. Really agreed. Happy to approve that one then. Yep. Thank you, everyone. All right. Um, so happy to agree all the recommendations for all those applications. Um, any other business? I have no other urgent business. Anyone? Nope. So that concludes the meeting. Thank you everyone for your contributions and we'll see you in just a few minutes for the members workshop. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -oh.